Welcome. It's been a long time since I've posted a video. My camcorder really hasn't been cooperating with me. The autofocus has been going in and out. I did want to show you guys a new knife that I have to review. Queen Cutlery sent me one of their new bushcraft knives to do a written review in a magazine. So very excited. I'll be doing a full written review in the magazine as well as I may do a full review um, on here. This knife has about two months I believe until its full release and Queen Cutlery is going to be doing a full line of bushcraft knives. At least that is what I've heard. Um, this knife is one of two prototypes that was shown off at SHOT Show, so that's very exciting to have one of the first two prototypes. Um, at first, this was a little bit different than a lot of bushcraft knives, but once in the hand, I really, really liked um, the ergonomics and um, all the features about it. So let's get into this knife. I will be doing a lot more testing videos as well as some uh, bushcraft and outdoorsy videos or showing that type of gear off a little bit more um, as that's what I've my interests have kind of changed into. So I still will be doing videos on like rare knives um, and all that. Like I just got another um, Harzi Ranger, the T3. So I still will be doing videos on that type of thing. But I did want to show this knife off as well. Seems like the camera settings just changed. Let's see if we can change that back. There we go. Okay. So let's show this knife off and let me know what other type of videos you are wanting to see first. Whether that's um, some more outdoor or things that relate to the outdoors such as a review of the Silky Saw Big Boy, or if you're wanting some of the more 1080p macro times with uh, um, tactical knives and all that. Okay, let's get into this knife. This is the uh, Q Crafter Vroman by Queen Cutlery. So the first thing you'll be seeing is the fantastic Kydex sheath. has lots of attachment points. This does actually fit a... Um, Oh goodness, a, um, I don't remember what the attachment system is called. One of these things. Um, blade tech, I don't remember what they're called. Tech lock, there we go. It does actually fit a tech lock, although it does come with its own belt attachment system. It will fit a two inch long belt. My favorite way to actually attach this is to flip it so that it, is up here and you would pull down on the knife so once it's being well yeah once it's being pulled out it is ready in the hand retention on the sheath is very nice it's not going to fall out as you see pull it out and your hand is perfectly ready so it has a very bright yellow G10 scale with mosaic pins. Those mosaic pins really bring this knife and make it look almost like a custom. It is a full tang with a exposed um, butt portion with a lanyard hole. You can put 550 cord through there and make it like a little wrist sling when you're cutting. Very ergonomic with the finger grooves so it's extremely comfortable. It does have some jimping. Not very aggressive which I really like that it is not super aggressive jimping. And as you can see my camera is not wanting to focus anymore. Let's see. This is exactly the problem that I've been having with it. So I may have to replace this camera. Um, it has a little bit of a thumb ramp there to get some extra grip. So definitely not going to slip out of your hand. I've used this knife for some light uh, batoning as well as some feather stick making. And to make some feather sticks, I actually grip up on it. Put my 
index finger there, just like this, and then you can make the feather sticks. The blade is 1095 with a powder coat on it. Powder coat is holding up very nicely, so that's nice. Um, you can see the Queen Cutlery logo there. I don't have the specs on the blade length or the handle length or the weight, um, but I will put a link in the description below that will link you to Queen Cutlery's page on this. It's a full flat grind, as you can see there. Um, I did polish up the edge, so it is very nice and sharp, takes a fantastic edge. Um, I'll show a cutting demo. This is um, uh, sugar cane paper, so it's a little bit different than normal paper. I don't know the consistency difference though, because I'm not like into um, paper manufacturing or anything like that. But you can see, cuts very nicely. It is hair shaving sharp. I'll show that. So, you can see it is hair shaving sharp. So, very nice knife. I really like it. Works pretty well, or very well. Still need to do some more testing to finish it out. And then I'll be writing a full review for... Um, a magazine or the Knife Days magazine. Don't know if I already said that. This is like my third take of the video because um, the focusing hasn't been wanting to work for me and the lighting hasn't. So, oh well. May end up getting a new camera. You can see this does slightly attract dirt. Um, there's two different ways that I've kind of figured to clean this off. You can either take duct tape, stick it on there and pull it off, it takes the dirt right off as it is a uh, smooth G10, or you can just use some Dawn soap and it takes it right off. Either way works perfectly fine and cleans it right up. So there you go. Don't have to worry about slippage due to how deep the finger grooves are. So, nice grip. Anyways, thank you for watching. I have been posting some on Instagram, so follow me on there. My username on there is the next archer. And yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what type of videos you are wanting to see. Um, and hopefully I can get this camera focus to start working better so that I don't have to buy a new camera. And um, if you do film videos, let me know what type of camera you suggest. I don't really want to spend a huge amount, but I am wanting one that I can actually use to do my 1080p macro times again. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Have a great day.